Romney Manor on the Wingfield Estate on St Kitts was home to the great-great-great-grandfather of Thomas Jefferson and is now home to Caribel Batik. We were there with the owner of Wingfield Estate, Mr Widdowson, to learn how to make batik using traditional methods. Oh, that wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Time won't allow you to uh, have a go with the janting, I guess. So. Jack, what's that? Uh, the other tool, which is called a wax pen, that's, that's the real skill involved in doing batting. It's got a constant flow of wax coming out, so if you pause to scratch your nose or ask the phone, it yeah. comes out and makes a big block. So you've got to move with great dexterity. And these are the same the sound has been doing this for many, many years. And, um, you know, it just looks like they're using a pen, but it isn't at all. And, uh, mm. I had a go at doing it. It's much more difficult than it looks. The printed cotton is then taken into the next section for dyeing. Come back here before and do a whole load more different colours yeah. before you go. I love the turtle. That's so sweet. <laughs> I love that one. The printed batiks are hung out to dry in the warm Caribbean air. Here's the little turtle print that I had a go at making. And here, one of the finished ones that are for sale in the shop. Carabel Batik is an absolutely fascinating place to visit. I loved every minute of it, walking round the industrial heritage park, through the rainforest, even having a go on the zip wire, and of course making the batik. A real treat on our trip to St Kitts. <laughs>